Hey guys, I'm out here at beautiful North Carolina at King Creek Lake out here. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you because we got the same conditions out here as we have back in Arizona. Cloudy conditions, sprinkles every day, every other day, you know. I get a lot of emails and I can't answer all of them, but this one I could answer is, what are the storms doing to our fishing? What, what, what happens when that, when the lightning comes at night or the thunder and all that, does it hurt the fishing or does it disrupt it? Well, let me tell you what, it doesn't disrupt it at Bartlett because 99% of the bass in there are northern strain. Where it does affect fishing is the, the, uh, North, the Florida strain hybrids. And they just don't like all that stuff. So it could slow the bite down. But I could tell you one thing, when the barometer falls and it looks like it's gonna start raining like these big old heavy clouds up above me, when it starts looking like that, yep, the big fish start biting. And you wanna take your raincoat and get out there. I always never turn my clients down when they say, are we gonna cancel the trip because it's raining? I go, nope, I got a raincoat for you and I'll bring it and we'll have a good time. We'll catch a lot of fish and we'll catch bigger fish on that those conditions. When it's the day after the storm, and it's got light, puffy clouds like you see out here at Sina, but that's how when the high pressure comes in, you don't want to really fish. You'll still catch the fish at, at Bartlett, but at Saguaro, Roosevelt, it's a little tougher. Hey, thanks for watching my shows, and uh, be sure to subscribe like it says on there. I really appreciate you guys, and we'll be talking to you on the next time.